helping everybody uh, our names out because you know I know I know both sergeants have ran across me already. So. You know we're cops, right? Yeah, I know y'all are cops. Y'all can find out anything, of course, like that. Right. So I mean, yeah. So I mean, just making sure. So uh, it don't bother me. So, you so, don't affect my job one way or another. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and see, that's the attitude that y'all that, that you should I, have. You know I, what I mean? I've been doing this for twenty plus years. I've never had a one complaint. Yeah, yeah. Other so, than so, normal stuff. But uh, what's your name and badge number? It's. I'm, uh, you know what? Because I'm I, I'm feeling all right. I'll tell you, Corporal Babin. Corporal Babin, and your badge Which, number? Huh? Which that badge I'm number? not giving you. You can give me your badge number. No, don't, I can't don't, don't start making yourself look bad, dude. Come on. I you can't can because it's tied to our social security number. I'm not giving you that. Oh, uh, you you can give it, dude. So 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 if I had to make a complaint, I just tell him your name or what? Yeah, you can. Just tell him just straight your name, all right? Can you tell me what happened on scene right here? You know that's public information too, right? Not when it involves HIPAA. Uh, it's HIPAA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ambulance. Mm -hmm. Got called to a uh, one of uh, suspicious female. I'll put it that way. Suspicious female. Yep. All right. All right. That's the best I can give you, man. Then our policy. It's not I already policy? looked at that. Yeah. I was already prepared for all this. You're prepared but for it, but because okay, if, if, you if, were if, talking. If, yeah. Talking. Yeah. Well, you I'm know? not one of these. I'm not going to start yelling and cussing no, at no, you. No, and no, that, no, if no, you cool. give it to me, I'm going to give it to and you. I'm not, and I, yeah. And that's why I, whenever I saw y'all, uh -huh. I wanted to make sure I saw y'all. Yeah. Hey, how y'all doing? Right. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, Legitimately, I want to know that y'all are okay. You give respect, you get respect. That's exactly right. You give respect, you get respect. That's I mean, that's exactly that's right. the way that's the way it should be. Yeah, but I've been studying law for a long time. Like, you have a law degree? Don't have a law degree, but you don't need a law degree in, to know the law. Mm, no, 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 no. You so, don't need a law degree to know the law. Okay. All right. So I'll give you that. There are still a few bad apples. Don't no deny. Wrong. Yeah, no doubt in that. No doubt. Every job you can find that one. Cause you're on camera, but yeah, that one butthole. Okay, mm -hmm. I would 95% of us are out here actually legitimately doing the right thing. Yeah. So that if that's what you're legitimately trying to do, I applaud you. Mm -hmm. but, but but what we get a lot of is like when we walk up to the stops, getting yeah. pushed back. You know what I mean? Like even y'all right there, I could yeah. walk right by y'all. You could. There's nothing stopping me. We could film cars. Like, she just got hit the other day for filming inside the car. She got told you can't film inside y'all's cars. We could film inside y'all's cars. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. So, even if my CAD screen is up, there's mm -hmm. nothing illegal about what's on my CAD screen. You can film it all day long. Right. There's no confidential information that's put across that CAD screen. Because if it's subpoenaed, they have to submit that file card to court. Right. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I did see you talking to Brumfield the other day. He lifted up his computer. Well, I say that. I told day. him he shouldn't do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I told him he shouldn't do Doesn't that. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Does not matter because there's nothing confidential on there. Yeah. Google is amazing, right? You can find plates, information. Just like you said a while ago, there is no secrets. Now, there is no secrets. Yes. Is it easier? Yeah. But yeah. sometimes on a hot call, mm -hmm. you know what? Suck it up. My computer's going to be open. Yeah. Because... I just don't care if it's open or down. I got to deal with what I got to deal with. Right. Of course. You want to film it? Bro, look. Go by right all on means, the head. Yeah, go right on ahead. Handle your business, man. But you'd be surprised the kickback we get, though. I mean, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's an ego thing for most officers. Like, hey, you can't do that. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's an ego thing. You know, some, or they probably won't let them past it or, you know. But it is it is an issue. And it was it's, just a few days ago it ha happened again. Hey, me. Too. Huh? Hey, me. I watch see, they, all see, y'all's videos. He's pretty smart, huh? They 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 they, 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 they pay attention, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so you can't just walk in and demand to speak to my immediate supervisor, Some right? Some people don't want to do that. They want a complaint form that they can pick the up way, and take home and way, fill out and then bring it back. The way it works. Taxpayers pay for those cameras. We should be able to put in a FOIA request. Taxpayers don't pay for these cameras. How did you guys get the money? Federal paid? government. It was a grant by DOJ. Who pays the federal government? It's a good question. The taxpayers. The taxpayers. It See, all boils down to the taxpayers. That. The taxpayers pay the I don't federal know. government. No. That's how they keep it. It's, it's no different. Mm -hmm. So just for you to get body cameras of this interaction, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be available. You hear those people? So. That's crazy. Well, that's why we have, and most people should record their own interactions because that footage we have immediate access to, you know right. what I mean? So. Yeah. And that's, that's what's no, good, you know, I, because, I, you know, we, uh, even even in other departments in other cities and states, their body cam footage usually disappears or it gets muted or, you know, in those categories, the Correct. ones that we are allowed to get. So these are strictly used for um, 
like we can't even review our body cam as mm -hmm. evidence like to go back and look at a to type world cameras forward. don't lie it seems like that'd be the first thing they go to we we just can't it's it's stored if it's a major crime mm -hmm. that we think may come in later for down the road for court then we can tag it mm -hmm. so it can be saved but if not like this interaction will be because it was nothing we, that happened exactly it's right. two people talking yeah or well three people mm -hmm. so later bro where i mean I, I know the laws where's the lights and sirens it doesn't matter you don't have to run lights and sirens that's bullshit why that's bullshit it happens if somebody's riding a bike down the street and they decide to cut out and that car's flying and up behind them. They're at fault regardless. Huh? They're at fault regardless. Who's at fault? Who's, yeah, that's what I said. Who, yeah, who's at fault? The person on the bike. Okay, what happened? Bad cops spoil the bunch. Few police officers deserve the reputation they enjoy today, which is why it is imperative for good officers to speak up, to protect their own communities and support police reform initiatives while pushing for union-free workplaces. Problematic is not individual police officers, but rather the institution of policing as currently defined. Some people should be cops. Following horrific incidents like Darren Wilson's shooting of George Floyd or Derek Chauvin's fatal knee to neck strike, some have tried to deflect criticism by asserting that not all cops are bad. Unfortunately, this simply isn't true. Long as somebody's driving in that right lane, just like me the other day, if I'm driving in that right lane and they almost take off my back bumper, he, to get over. he did not do that. But there was nobody there. But he didn't do it when I was there. So, um, and that's bullshit. So, it should de you know, y'all get training on de-escalation. That was complete opposite. Well, y'all are supposed to. to. Y'all are supposed to. to. Not, I mean, not you in particular, but yes. Y'all are supposed to. Yeah. Have training on that. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there, there, we, there's some stuff out there that we get, but <sighs> problem is, people, when, when, when people say de-escalation, I'm, I'm not saying you in that particular instant, but great, that's a great word, de-escalation. Yeah. What happens when the other person doesn't want to? When, when the other Do you, you see what I'm saying now? But so, I so didn't raise instance, my voice. I talk like I talk so right in now. That you know instance, what I mean? Let's. He didn't want to, mm -hmm. right? So de-escalation is obsolete, right? Right. Same thing with us. Everybody wants us to de-escalate. Well, sometimes when I got a guy that then beat the excuse my language the shit out of his wife mm -hmm. with her three kids in the house and she can't speak, de-escalation isn't really a factor at that point. You know what I mean? Right. Like I said, de-escalation is great when it mm -hmm. works and you got two parties willing to do it. Right. But it's crazy that the other party was an officer. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, again, I don't use de-escalation, which means it is very, we have in the mentality, if I tell you to jump, you should say how high. Or I told him, I was like, you know, I could walk in between the cars, I could walk in, but then all of a sudden he himself said, what well, that would be interfering. And I said, interfering would be me getting between you and your suspect or me physically stopping you from dealing with your suspect. That's interfering. Interfering is a physical act. It's not. Wow. So let me, let me put it to you this way. Go look up revised statute. It's freedom of speech. Freedom it's of not. Press. It has no, when you hinder me from doing my duties, that is a state law. I can walk anywhere, so that's no. that, that's not interfering. So, so it's not interfering. This way. If I get my dog out because I want to run a car, mm -hmm. and you're standing by the way, and I tell you, you're not allowing my dog to perform his duties, which... But that would mean be, me getting in between the dog and whatever's not, going nope. on. If you're distracting him from doing his Distraction job... Distraction is not interfering. It is if it hinders So, so if there's job. a squirrel running across the ground, and that squirrel gets your attention... Is a squirrel going to be put in handcuffs because he took your attention off your that stop? That makes zero sense because you can't arrest an animal. But it's the same thing. We're humans. We're, we're wild animals. Correct. So if I tell you, Daniel, I need you to go over there. Mm -hmm. I'm fixing to take my dog out. I don't want you to distract him while I do my job. That's a wild animal. And you don't. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. That's not I absolutely, I absolutely, And I'll show you. So, 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 so if you had somebody pulled over right here in front of you and I walk around your car. Uh-huh completely and walk over here walk up the sidewalk and walk around all y'all's cars would that be yeah, interfering technically yeah but how's that interfering now, i know you. because because you, so, I, so you I took me... your attention off of that stop yes absolutely that's not, that's not interfering though so you'd have to absolutely you'd, you'd not have interfering. to argue that with a judge and that and it's been it's gone to supreme court yeah. several times and it's gone you if, know how many cases have been dismissed if, for if, interfering the cops are arrested for interfering court, 
it wouldn't be in our site book right now. But they still do, even though even though the th cases have been dismissed, they still do it just for retaliation or whatever uh, other reason they want. To. You're saying now, but it's true. No, I'm telling you, go look up. Just Backwards, Google, man. Google, Google LRS mm -hmm. backslash interfering with an officer mm -hmm. and just read that statute. Now, I'm not telling you I would just do it if you if I was on stop, right? Mm -hmm. And you just showed up and just started doing that. I wouldn't do no. it. I read part of a review online. I am not a fan. You know, Dad, you're a real jerk. Without warning, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I would at least tell you, look, man, let me complete my stop. By all means, film from just a little ways down. Yeah. But if you don't, technically that's two. You're actually failure to follow a lawful order and you're interfering. Now, I, I, I mean, you're, you're, you're from so Texas, people, right? There, there, there's, there's, I'm just, that's just not true. In, interfering is a physical act. You yeah, have to physically be stopping the officer. No, you don't. Me walking around, it, it's, it's, it's a free America. In order for, in order for you to keep us America. back. If and, you're hindering my job, then that's interfering. Then put up crime scene tape to keep us out that of an has area. nothing to do with it. See, I mean, it's just, it, it, it goes if into circles I'm on an active people. crime scene, and that means traffic investigation, mm -hmm. narcotics investigation, all that. All I'm telling you is go look up the law. That's mm -hmm. all I'm telling you. I have. Have you? Yes. Yes, several times. Like I said, I, that's why I got a grin on my face because I know you're wrong that's about fine. this. That's so, if you, if you don't want us in a certain area, you have to put crime scene tape up no, to keep us out of that area. That has nothing there to do is with no it. invisible bubble around y'all. Yes, there is. No, there is not no so, invisible bubble so, around y'all. Right, but if I tell you you're hindering my job abilities and you refuse to move, then that tells me. That, that means you have ADHD and you can't focus okay. on one thing. So here's the thing as much as I like you, dude, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. If that happens between me and you, mm -hmm. I am going to arrest you. I don't want to. I would love to give you the chance mm -hmm. to just move down. Just go down a little ways. By all means, film. I don't care. There's so many ARSs and everything behind what you and me are talking about you right know? now. And, I mean, and just... I, honestly, dude, I, I, seriously. Yeah. But I'm one, I don't. I, I, would, I, would, I would hate for you to have to arrest me because that would be a major lawsuit. You can try. People have won those is. lawsuits all the time. I agree. See if you, you see you see but, you're saying that you agree, but at the same time you're saying, well, that's not true. But I'm still I'm still following what my law, the state of Louisiana, mm -hmm. has so, set forth. Okay, if these people are being let go from that thing, shouldn't it not be part of oh, your I've policy to do I, that? I, I've never seen anybody sue for interfering. Never here. No, I mean uh, people sue for being arrested for the cops saying that they're interfering when they're just walking around this. Uh, uh, a, a that's cop never happened. Stopping. That's unprecedented. You, but you said that you would arrest me if I was to walk in yes, between the cars absolutely. and stuff like that. If you're interfering with my job, with my criminal investigation, then yes. See, you're wrong. I, I may I, be. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry I may to say be. you're you're wrong. But that would be up to a judge to decide, not me. And that's why they all those cases get dismissed. Okay. But it's crazy that y'all would put somebody through that, and y'all would take the hit. You know, it's it's not y'all that are paying all these lawsuits to like all these auditors. It's this taxpayers that no, pay it's all of actually insurance. It's still you know, city, you know the funds that come into the city. It's still yeah, but we gotta have city. liability and insurance. Regardless. Okay, what happens when y'all use all qualified immunity? Are, are you still gonna be arresting people? Once. Well, some states are starting to pass it through now. Uh huh. Yeah, but but. If you arrest somebody then, then it comes out of, like, y'all's pension. It comes out of y'all's pocket. You know what I mean? So what is qualified immunity? Qualified immunity is... You get to break the law, but you know you're breaking the law. So even, even, you know, even, no, qualified immunity is basically whenever you uh, arrest somebody out of your knowledge thinking that you're right, but the law says, no, you wasn't right, but you're a cop, so you get away with it. No. Yeah, that's exactly a qualified. No. You get, yes, it's like you no. said, you get away with so stuff that you don't know the law. So basically, means if I am acting in good faith, uh -huh. hence, let's say, our take our scenario, right? Enforcement training and culture often transform good people into sociopaths lacking empathy for fellow human beings. Law enforcement culture resembles street gangs or mafia syndicates where loyalty to the group comes before responsibility and accountability. Bad cops are further complicated by police departments' unwillingness to flag officers with criminal backgrounds or multiple complaints, and due to them often leaving one department before being hired by another department with similar misconduct records, leaving many officers who have had histories of misconduct on the job today. Right. So... I ask you, Daniel, need you to move further down, dude. I'm fixing to get my dog out. Mm -hmm. I don't want 
Well, well I would do one, that anyways. I don't want to get bit. One, I don't yeah, want you to get bit. bit. Yeah. And two, I, I've got to do this investigation. After right. that, we can talk. We can do whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just need you to move down, film from there. Okay. How right. far? Down. Yeah, do you think there's a distance like 10 feet 15 feet 20 feet what, what, what is your bubble honestly what's your you bubble could probably be about halfway from where we are to my unit and with the car pulled over in front of you if there was a car pulled over in front of no you. from that from that car okay which but, is not that far right so okay but, but okay but it's a perfect example but you can't be walking by around in between the cars getting close to the car all that stuff so what happens if somebody's not holding a camera and they just walking down the sidewalk? They're going to get closer than what you just said, right? No, I always stop them. So they so they have to stop. Okay, no, so they I have to stop to on the around. sidewalk, hey, even, man, even if even if it's out. jaywalking. I care less about jaywalking at that but, point because I don't see, want. There's the disconnect. Want, why is that disconnect? I'd rather somebody but, jaywalk instead of get dog bit. But, but we uh, take the dog out of this scenario. Then that's a whole so thing people have to stop on the sidewalk, wait for you to get done with that stop before they can continue walking. Yeah, or we can go, wow. hey, man, hey, man, go ahead and go. Uh-huh, but, but you just said that we couldn't, but now you're saying, okay, now you can go. Yeah. Does this, is the camera is what makes the difference? No, I care less about the camera. Then how can so other people here's, pass here's, by? Here's the thing. And just because we're recording, it's not okay to pass by anymore. No, it has nothing to do with that. If if I tell, if I have a car stopped here, right? Right. And you're walking down the sidewalk. Uh-huh. Normally, I have an officer with me. Okay. Watches for that kind of stuff. Okay. And if not, I always look to make sure one nobody's out. Right. If I see somebody, or he's working, while I have him out, mm -hmm. because I watch him, but I also try and watch around because he's not paying any attention other than what's going on with that car. And then if sudden movements around, which immediately keys off, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if he gets out the car and y'all are standing there. Dad's in trouble because there's people that aren't supposed to be here. So okay. that completely goes. Out that can the happen window. to anybody. Y'all don't know who that other person is without the camera Correct. walking by. So if I have him out and I see somebody walking, I will either tell him, "Hey, stop for a minute." That's but that okay. That that goes against the constitution because that stops it's their not. freedom of travel. It stops that person's freedom of travel to go where they want to it's go. It's not because I'm. Oh I'm, my I'm, God! Are you? Oh, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Because, you never heard of freedom of travel? You didn't even let me finish. Hey, stop for a minute. Let my dog finish. Or, hey, go ahead and cut across. Mm -hmm. Like I said, take the dog out of the scenario. Walking down the sidewalk. If somebody's walking down the sidewalk, you have somebody stop. You will not per stop that person from walking by that scene, your car, no, and walking down the sidewalk. No, if I'm on a traffic stop at that point, no. By all means, walk by. Okay, now I'm walking by with the camera and I stop. You can't stop on public passage. If there's nobody, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't obstructing. You're not obstructing. It You're not matter. obstructing. It doesn't. Okay, that, okay, now check this out. Now check this out. obstructing a public passage. Okay, but because I'm recording you on your stop, that gives me official reason to be there to record you. No, I can stop. Oh, under, what, under what grounds? Under what grounds? Because we're supposed to be able to film our... You agree? Now, we're supposed not, to be able to film y'all. I'm not arguing with you. I'm trying to learn. That's right, right, why right, we're. Right. That's why oh, we're no, still yeah. engaged. That's in this why I don't. Thing. Like, yeah. I don't want you to get mad. You but did you like know you also? Frustrated. No, but uh, you did know by the First Amendment, it's not only just being able to record. You know, we got to be able to be close enough to hear what's going on. That's in the First Amendment too. Under what? We so, have to be able to hear. So that's under the First Amendment. Yeah, it, you, it's video, record, and audio traffic I'm stops. Look that up. Okay. Look that up. So we have to be able to stand close enough to be able to hear what's going on. But I don't think the First Amendment is public interest. traffic stops, does it? It just addresses you're supposed to be able to record. Just freedom, freedom of, press, of the press. The freedom of the press. Right. 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 And the freedom of the press is is not just looking at a scene. It's also being able to hear what's going on. Just like the public information. Just like you said that we can't have body footage and stuff like that. People want to know what's going on in their city. That's the, what gives us our freedom of press out of our First Amendment. Okay. So if it gives you the the right to record audio as well, mm -hmm. it does, and you you'll see. That means that we got to be close enough to be able to hear. So what about a crime scene then? A crime scene that is different because there's stuff on the grounds. Okay. That that puts it in the realm. Hey, this is a blocked off area. So but if there's no crime scene on a traffic stop, we realize, can walk right by. Do you realize that any traffic stop is a crime scene? That is a traffic investigation crime okay, scene. Okay, in order to keep us far back from even a traffic stop, you have to put the crime scene. You can't do up. it. You know why? Because the Supreme Court ruled that you have a, a certain amount of time to conduct your traffic stop. 15 minutes usually. Mm, there's no certain 15, time. There is no certain time, but you can't extend the stop to get a canine out to search somebody's car. Correct. You correct. can't extend I the can't stop. I can't dick, dick off 
Right, wait and, and wait like 15 more minutes. That you can't. You right. have, whenever you pull them Correct. over for, that's what you have to Correct. address so at that moment. By the time I put crime scene tape out, my my stops, my time a lot of stop is gone. Right, but but that still allows us to be able to walk by. It still allows us to be able to walk yes. by. And, and I'm not I'm, I'm not disputing that. You can walk by how you want. All mm -hmm. I'm saying is that if an officer tells you, "Hey, man, you're interfering," mm -hmm. chances are you probably are. And all I'm all I'm saying is but, go but look, at, that look at that. All I'm saying is go look at that statue. Okay, and, and but interfering, everything I've ever read on interfering is a physical act. It's like like I'm your suspect. No, you, I can't get in between. So you've us. Never read the robot or I can't gra I can't yet. grab you and say, oh, get off of my dad or my brother. Officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not interfering. But th but that's go interfering. Read. That would be I'm interfering. I'm telling you what to go read. Go read the <laughs> go read the Louisiana Revised Statute mm -hmm. for interfering with a police officer. Okay. No, you do <laughs> fine, dude. Like I said, I know my you, shit. You, you're doing fine. Start. Yeah. See, you're yeah. saying bullshit, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And if you want, I'll go get the revised statute exactly for you real quick. That way you can go straight to it. I'll even, I, 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 I'll like even said, show you. Know, it, if you want, I, I, I'll I've, seen, I've seen it a million times. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it a lot, a lot, Give me, a lot, Give a lot. me five minutes. Are you going to be able to pull it up? Or Can you print out sheets? I can't print it from my unit, but what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it on my phone and let you read it out loud. Yeah. You want me to do that? Interfering with a law enforcement investigation, right? That's that's a title. Okay. 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 Now, interfering with a law enforcement investigation is the intentional interference or obstruction of a law enforcement officer conducting investigative work at the scene of a crime or the scene of an accident or refusing to move or leave the immediate scene of the crime or accident when ordered to do so by a law enforcement officer when the offender has reasonable grounds to believe the officer is acting in the performance of his official duties. Okay, now read the first part again. Okay. Interfering, law enforcement investigation, is the intentional interference or obstruction of the law enforcement and it's, officer. Okay, now listen to that wording. Say that again. Now read that again. And it, intentional. I'm not intentionally doing anything when I'm standing there recording. But listen to the last part. Okay. okay. I, I, I agree. You're not intentionally doing it, right? Right. But here's here's the here's the catch to it, right? Um so we come da 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 The wording is everything when it comes to law. You know that. No no no, I agree. But it, it also has a lot to do with interpretation, as you well know too. Mm -hmm. Everybody can interpret some interpret some bleh, interpret <laughs> some, I still can't get it, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Something different, right? Yeah. Okay. Um Officer conducting investigative work at the scene of a crime or the scene of an accident by refusing to move or leave the immediate scene of the crime when the, okay. or the accident. Hang on. Okay. Okay. When ordered to do so. Right. And that's when so, the crime scene tape would be coming up. No. Just because, hang you know. On. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Hang on. All right. Interfering in the end. Da, 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 da. For purpose of this, this section, law enforcement officer means any commission. Da, 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 da. And then it gives the, uh, the see, there we go. I mean, there is nothing else so, after that. We have to leave an area if there is a crime scene, yes. If, when you start putting up a tape, you can push us back past that crime scene tape. But if there's no crime scene tape, it's still open to the public. It's still open to the public. That's why I said, intentionally. See, intentional would see, be a physical act. It's I, stopping I, you intentionally. I don't think that would fly. I think, I know it has because I've seen it happen. If you can show me case law where that, that has... And I'll, I'm gonna look it up too. Just you to see, see what I mean? You yeah, see no, what I'm gonna yeah. look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Yeah, no, yeah good I stuff. Agree. Yeah, good stuff. But it's an it's an it's an intentional thing, intentionally right. not getting out of your crime scene. But there has to be an established crime scene. But it says where a crime is taking place, right? But you you have somebody stop that public sidewalk is not the area that the crime is taking place. But it's where it's a continuation of that crime. Then that's where the crime scene tape up. Oh, you can't be in this area. You have to, we have to back up, just like it says. We have to get out of the crime scene. When told but to has do the, so. When, when told to do so. Correct. Yes. But that's whenever you've got the tape, sir, you got to back up. But sir, we've already had that discussion, though. If I, if I have to string up crime scene tape, that cuts into my allotted time frame for an accident. That's not our fault. That's not no, our fault. But I'm pretty sure there's wording on the Supreme Court about that. And, and in fact, I'm going to try and find it. And next time you and I come in contact, which. Uh -huh. I'll be on lights for the next month. And you, hey, we're not going to stop doing what we do either. No, no, I know that. And again, y'all hey. aren't going to change me. You know, I, right. I've been doing this long enough. Mm -hmm. uh, so have I. You know, and I, I, hey, I've been putting been doing, handcuffs. Yeah. 
So I've been putting handcuffs over over interfering, this, standing this back, feeling. This stuff. is what I tell everybody. Mm -hmm. If I get you, I get you right. Yeah. Because I don't want my cases thrown out. Right. I want to have a good, success, like successful caseload. Right. Right. I want my cases to be prosecuted and people to go to jail behind what I put them in jail for. Right. I don't want a DA to look at it and go, "Ooh, that's weak." Yep. Day which necessitates a national database for hiring agencies that allows them to detect problematic officers more quickly. Most cops are good. After incidents of police brutality, it can often be said that most cops are good people. Only the minority who act badly tarnish the image of all officers. Unfortunately, this line of thinking is flawed. Any profession can contain some bad apples. What makes police unique is there are too many such instances. Rewarding good cops who show solidarity for fellow officers or kneel with protesters does not address the root problem, an unhealthy police culture. With its focus on race hierarchy and law enforcement officials who feel superior to law, any excuse can be found to break or bend laws. Such bad apple cops must be removed from the force to safeguard fellow cops as well as protect the public. Bad cops need to go. No longer can police brutality be dismissed as the result of just a few bad apples. Rather, its root lies within a culture which encourages its members to lack empathy and see citizens as threats, necessitating institutional change as a solution. Unfortunately, police officers rarely face legal repercussions for misdeeds committed while on the job due to the political power of police unions, which often secure protections that don't apply to ordinary citizens charged with similar offenses. Police officers have the luxury of switching departments midway through an investigation to maintain their license and find employment without their record being affected. Some can even be reinstated following lengthy arbitration processes, something no private citizen should enjoy. And decertification database needs to be created so bad cops cannot continue working in law enforcement. We need to remove bad cops. Assume all police are kind people before making judgments based on personal relationships. But also remember that even nice cops can turn violent. See Philando Castile and Tamir Rice for examples of this. Even if all good police in America tried to remove bad cops due to police union protection, they wouldn't be able to. If the good cops truly cared about reform, they'd join us in challenging the system and calling for an end to police unions. Unfortunately, however, most have chosen instead to remain silent while video after video exposes police brutality and corruption showing more concern for protecting their jobs and pensions than our civil liberties, which is why they must be removed. This includes things such as bribery, racial profiling, ticket fixing, and ticket tampering. Therefore, we need our cameras out and start documenting everything police do if we want reform.